We're here today with Sarah Payne, who's been signing copies of her brand new book. So you're a very talented lady, you're a designer, a TV demonstrator. How did you kind of find yourself in such a varied career in craft? <laughs> it's actually quite a bizarre thing because it just sort of it sort of happened. Mm. I used to have a proper job. Yeah. I was a software trainer for an IT company for about 25 years. Yeah. And then um, one day I just thought I had enough of this. I really wanted to see if I could make a go of crafting as yeah. a living. Yeah. I didn't really have an idea of what I was going to do. Yeah. Um, handed my notice in and mm. then a friend and I opened a shop. We didn't realise until much later, people told us how difficult it was going to be after we'd done it. Yes. And that it usually takes 18 months and we did it in four. <laughs> But that's because sometimes a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Yes. Um, and then after that, the shop just took off. Um, I was approached by um, a shopping channel to demonstrate for them. Mm -hmm. And it just went went from there. The rest is history. Yeah, so now I design fabric. Um, I'm just working on my fourth range will be coming out in June. Mm -hmm. And um, this is my second book. Yeah, so this one's all about applique. What yes. made you choose applique for this book? Oh, I absolutely love it as a technique because I love the way that you can create images. I love patchwork. I'm really a big fan of piecing, mm -hmm. but I love to be able to apply design on top of that. Yeah. And there are so many different methods for doing it. And some of them are very simple. Some of them create sort of... Um, traditional looking blocks and other ones you can be quite graphic mm -hmm. you can be quite um you create animals you can create all sorts of weird and wonderful shapes yeah. you can do it by hand you can do it by machine mm -hmm. um you don't need to be able to sew particularly well yeah. to produce something beautiful so i just really wanted the opportunity to explore it yeah. and for me, the big thing about my books is I call them schools because yes. it's about education. It's yeah, about and I mean, you can just see in these books, there's just, I mean, not only are they beautifully illustrated, but there's all the tools and materials, everything that you need to know to get started. And then we go into projects. So you've got your little, um, your little robot here. <laughs> this is one of my favorite. I love this. This is, this is amazing. So yeah, it's really, it's really very, it's, it's, it's literally lessons from beginning to end it is and we separate both books are separated into chapters so you can start at the beginning and work all the way through mm -hmm. or you can just pick out the bits that you want so yeah. if you just want to do hand sewing there's a whole section in here about hand sewing yeah. if you like raw edge applique, there's a whole section of that mm -hmm. but both books the idea is that they start you on your journey mm -hmm. so you can learn things which you can take forward yeah. and we even talk about how to work how to create your own ideas and how to create your own designs yeah. and, and introduce those into your work yeah. as well. It's all about education as well as just being a nice thing to flick through for somebody who's looking for a quick project. Yeah, yeah, that's re that's what the really useful element of these books are. And especially, well, it's, it's, it's such a good sequel to Quilt School because obviously you can use a PK in a variety of different ways. Yes. Um, when you're quilting as well. So so what also drew you to quilting? Obviously you, you, you crafted in so many different fashions, but that's one of your loves, isn't it? It is. I started off, I think I probably... I started sewing when I was very small. Mm -hmm. My mum um, was a dressmaker for a local fashion designer. Yeah. So there were always scraps of fabric everywhere. And I used to sell and take them together and make little outfits for my Cindy doll. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's sort of where it started. But anything that let me work with my hands, so I, I bead, I crochet, um, I do hand embroidery. Mm -hmm. But quilting for me started happening about... Uh, probably in the year 2000 when I bought a sewing machine mm -hmm. and I signed up for a, a, a quilt class and that was it, I was absolutely hooked. And the thing that I love about quilts is quilts are so personal yeah. because there's something that you sleep under, you know, if somebody is in shock, you wrap them up in a blanket, you know, it's quite, it's against your skin yeah. um, and it's, I look at a quilt as it's a cuddle when I'm not there. Yeah, and it's part of your home, isn't it? Like kind it of is, yes. And you, you know, house. if you're cold, you pull. I, I've got them over the back of my sofa. If yeah. it's chilly, I pull down a, a quilt and have a little mm. snuggle with the cats. And you know, I, and I think that's that was just for me what was different to making um, cushions and bags and things like that, just to be able to make those those elements. Yeah. Um, and then you know, I'm I'm. 
I don't sell my quilts. Mm. If you have one of my quilts, it's because I love you. Oh, that's sweet. So that's that's for me. It is. It's a hug. It's a cuddle. Yeah. It and it's something very very personal. I think. Mm. And I wanted to share that. Yeah. I mean, it's so wonderful that you've wrote, written these books with us because now we've shared it with you and now we're sharing it with everyone. Mm. And so, where can we find you on social media? What's coming up for you? Okay, uh, you can find me on social media if you just uh, search for Sarah Paint Quilter. Mm -hmm. You will find me. I'm on Instagram. Um, I'm on Facebook. I do quite a lot on both of those. I'm occasionally on Twitter, yeah, but not often. Mm. But the other two, yes, I, I do a lot. And um, I'm going to be travelling around this summer um, in my camper van, mm. my little camper van called Myrtle. Lovely. So uh, <laughs> she's orange and cream. Mm -hmm. So if you do see a 1980 um, camper van struggling to get uphill, <laughs> it's probably mine. So do stop and wave. Fabulous. So we're going to be we're going to be attending events yeah. and just travelling around and giving talks uh, throughout the summer with both books, but um, especially book number two. Ooh, yes, so exciting! Well, thank you for being with us today. It's such a pleasure to have spent the afternoon with you and obviously toiling away signing. Um, but yes, thank you, and it would be lovely to see you back again soon. Maybe yes, my my pleasure, absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.